Hey guys, and welcome to episode 151 of the Up Real Late Podcast. My name is Scott Ellis. I'm joined here by Tim McGavick. <sighs> wow. It's been a while. It's, that we've done it's been a little... this. It's, mm. been, it's been time. Mm. Mm. I like it. Like all four of us. I like it a lot. Also joining us is Tyler Switelski. Welcome back from Get, the grave. Guest appearance. Welcome back. <laughs> Still alive. Guest friend of the show. Uh, also joining us is Adam Franey. I'm ready. Comic Con, SDCC. Mm. I'm yes, in. let's run down some of the topics we're going to discuss on this week's episode. This week we're talking about all those Comic-Con trailers that came out. We got Overlord from J.J. Abrams. We got Glass. We got Shazam. We got Godzilla, King of the Monsters. We got Aquaman. We got Fantastic Beasts. And we're also going to talk about a trailer that came out a little around that time, mid-90s. It came out in the uh, mid-90s? Uh, mm-hmm. I That's came out in the mid '90s. Yes. To your parents or <laughs> from my parents? Oh. <laughs> Early '90s, really. As well, if you do like this video, leave a like on it, leave a comment below in the comment section, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already to our YouTube channel. With that out of the way, let's talk about a little film that's coming from the mystery box of J.J. Abrams. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure who this is even directed by. It's yeah, I think he executive produced this film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think he his director like the director's name even like came up with Flash. It's just produced by J.J. Abrams. Yeah, J.J. Abrams. <laughs> All you need to know. Um, produced by J.J. Director is not important. This film is called Overlord, and it's starring I don't know, but Wyatt Russell. For Wyatt, sure, Wyatt Russell. Fences yes. boy, Denzel's son in Fences. Really, really, that's who. That's that is. That's who he is. Oh, yeah. he was great in Fences. It was great, actually. Mm. It appears to be a story of some soldiers during World War II that um, get stuck behind enemy lines, and they were witnessing in some Nazi facility some strange and dangerous experiments, experiments going on. Hmm. Adam, let's start with you. What do you think of Overlord? And the sub-question would be, do you think this is connected to the Cloverfield universe? Oh, <laughs> little curveball for me, eh, bud? <laughs> well, I had heard of this movie months ago with the context that next Cloverfield movie, question mark, J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot producing uh, Overlord. Now, I think it looks like it could be fun. Could definitely be shit. That song, a, though. I mean... <clears throat> odd choice for a World that ACDC? Or? That was ACDC. It's definitely Hell's ACDC, is, yeah. the most Period accurate trailer band, dare I say. I mean, I'm pretty close, is, that a wrong, is that wrong? Is that so wrong? Um, I think it had, like, the font and all that looked really cheap and, like, cringe. Like, like blood bee. splattering, like, very B-movie. Yeah. yeah, but it did look fun. Looks like it could be a good time, I feel. Hmm. Looks like someone's been playing Call of Duty Zombies also. <laughs> I yeah. think they couldn't get the rights to Call of Duty and they were like, well, let's just make it up on our own. And I think that... It's actually an interesting theory. <laughs> what if it's like actually a Call of Duty movie or something? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's the twist? This is the start of the Call of Duty Zombies franchise. Like it, Right from the mystery box, guys. It's very, honestly, when you think it's about it, pretty close that's to it. actually insane. What if it cuts to black and zooms out from a TV and there's just kids playing Call of Duty? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we beat it. twist ever. Best That'd twist be of all time? And then the Cloverfield monster just, like, eats the kid. Boom! Cloverfield <laughs> Call of Duty. Um... I have a conspiracy theory. I think this was going to be a Cloverfield movie. And then Paradox that was came stupid. out. Well, I think Paradox came because out. Because Paradox was shit. shit. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, Cloverfield, we're done. We're done with that whole no, bullshit. No, no more of that. So, yeah, I think. Interesting. Could be fun. Could be shit. Ty, what do you, what do you think? What do I think? That's what do you think about at night? ACDC. We don't have time. Um... <laughs> This looks like a sweaty movie. Oh, it does. Oh, to P. the max. Hell's bad. Revenge on Nazis? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 zombies. Zombies. ACDC. ACDC. 
guns, explosions, handsome lady. blonde lead man. Oh, a lady with a flamethrower. Checking all your boxes. Yeah, that one's a that one's a like Where's that's a Mary box. Elizabeth Winstead. That's though? exactly that's what I was thinking. What the fuck? <laughs> I was just waiting for that. She, she didn't show up. In it. She no. wasn't in it. No. Um, Pilo Asbeck's in it. I don't know if you recognized him. That was him. I'm pretty sure that's. I him. think it's him, right? Yeah. Okay. I love him. The guy with the. Yeah. Big chunk missing. Ah, uh, the giant hole in his face. Yes. Uh, it's not, yeah. it's not a good look. Didn't but... didn't look hygienic. He pulled no. it off. Um, but it looked. Uh, it, this looks like so much fun. Like, like, but again, I think that the trailer might be hyping it up in a certain way. Like, you I'm really ACDC. Yeah, over it. You're just. It's a little bit like, how hype is this movie actually going to be, or is it just the ACDC? Like, it reminds me a lot of like the Free Fire trailer, where it's just like in, uh, like a lot of like in mm. like insane like montage of like gunshots and action yeah. and stuff. Is it going to be that crazy, or are they just kind of amping it up with the trailer? Um, I'm I'm looking forward to this though. This looks very mm-hmm. with JJ Abrams there. Like to me, the guy can do no wrong. Bad robot. Interesting. Tim, thoughts? I'm intrigued. I think this movie's gonna live or die on how fun it is. Mm-hmm. If it takes itself too seriously, it's mm-hmm. gonna be ridiculous and just kind of like generic. Right. But if they like have some fun with it. Could be, could be, uh, could be a good time. Could be, could be a good time. Yeah, I mean, I Hopefully think, I think, like, visually, it's, it's cool. I don't know. It's like an interesting take on like the whole like Nazi hunter kind of <laughs> genre. I don't know if that is a genre, but like, oh, it's a genre. World War Two film where it's just, it's just kind of over the top, but um, like borderline B movie. It seems it's, like. it is borderline B movie. Yeah. But yet the visuals look great. Yeah. So it's sort of it's somewhat elevated, even mm-hmm. though it's a very like pulpy like. Uh, premise for a film but uh but yeah you, you, uh, what have you said it right like if if it's if it stays fun yeah then hopefully it's gonna be good because the trailer was pretty ridiculous okay. like it's just kind of it's just trying to like blow your mind with all these different crazy things that it's like throwing at you mm-hmm. and if it if the movie can somehow live up to that I'm in I'm in but uh but yeah overlord I, I don't think it's gonna be a part of the Cloverfield universe. No. I think that's no. too much of a stretch. You think they're done with that? Like it's. I, I think, think they're done with it. But I think I... they should be done like adapting stories into a Cloverfield universe. They should just yeah. make write write just a new movie, movie, knowing it's part of the universe. I think they should wait like five years, really and one? then just drop it out of nowhere, like they did with Paradox. Yeah, but Paradox sucked. Yeah, yeah, but like like they did with Paradox, like they did, but actually but, but better. better. Yeah. But good, re- yeah. yeah. Just like that mysterious droppers. Like, what, have you guys seen this thing yet? And it just like Ten came... Cloverfield Lane. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was successful. Good. Yeah, it's a great movie. Well, let's move on. Uh, we got another trailer. Uh, this one we got Glass, the sequel to Split and Unbreakable from M Night. Uh, Tim, let's start with you. What do you think of the Glass trailer? Sham Hammer. Okay, I'm a Lama Dango. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Much like the last trailer. You're very intrigued. What's going on? Um, well, I, mean, I, I really liked Unbreakable. Here? For Heavy 4, probably. Like, I the really, really yeah. like that movie a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Split was surprisingly good. Was not expecting a whole lot. Um, I do think, like, that twist at the end that it's in the universe was kind of, like, added on <laughs> last minute. You think um, so? Oh, yeah. Not Probably not last minute, but... I don't know. It was very jarring. During the reshoots or something. Mm, yeah. They did it. Yeah. Um, shocking thing I've ever seen. But I am, I'm interested to see, like, what exactly, how, like, how Shyamalan's building this, like, superhero world. Mm-hmm. And I like that it's being um, viewed from the idea that these guys are just crazy. Yeah. And, like, More real heroes aren't real. And, like, you guys think you're heroes, but you're just, you're just kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh... I bet she has a superpower or something as well. You think so? I think so. I think she's up to something. Well, there's going to be a twist. There's got to be... Okay. There's going to be... It's talking what if, about M. Night. What if the twist was that there's no twist? How how crazy would that be? Impossible. Um, <laughs> the ultimate twist. <laughs> You're insane, man. Honestly, I'm on the fence. Like, I liked Unbreakable. I didn't love it. I thought it was fine. And Split, I was pleasantly surprised by. But this one, the trailer at least, I mean... I don't know. It didn't necessarily grab me. There's some bad dialogue. (laughs) Yes, cringe. What what was it? First name (laughs) Mister. Last name Glass. Last name Glass. Cringe. Real bad. Um, Real bad. I don't know. 
just maybe I just can't understand what what's happening. Like, am I just stupid? Like, what? Yeah. What's the what's the premise here? Like, yeah, like I don't know what the plot is. Like, yeah. Like, what? Are, why? Why they're... they all in a mental institution? I have. How a did theory. they end up there? I like. Are they in a mental? I don't, that's not an important question, but like, I don't know. Like, so glass is evil. Um, what's his name? Um, is he Professor X? I can't remember his character's name. But Jim, X, James yeah. Well, He has like twenty-five yeah. character names. Right. Hayden, the Beast, the if you will. The beast. Um, he's evil, obviously. I guess he's a bad guy. And then so. we got what's his name? Dunn. David Dunn. David Dunn. David Dunn. And obviously they're going head to head, but I don't understand. Like, like, what are the stakes here? Like, I don't know, humankind. Like, what are we talking about here? Like, what are the stakes? Like, I don't understand. I'll have to wait and see. I guess, I guess it was a bit of a teaser, more than the Qu- quite trailer. the tease. Um, so I think just because I I enjoyed Split and it surprised me that it was actually decent. Because um, when I saw the first trailer for Split, I thought, oh, this is shit. This is, <laughs> this is no. This can't be good. This is yeah. just bizarre. Um, this is James McAvoy talking about like a four Too it's bizarre. Too bizarre. But it surprised me. And honestly, fuck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the Sham Hammer the benefit of the doubt on this one. I think it could be decent. What do you guys think? He's back. Mm. Ty? I think uh, I liked Unbreakable. I only saw it, I think, last year uh, for the first time. Mm. And then uh, Split. Like Unbreakable, I thought was very good. Um, Split, I, I think... I think you guys were being a little harsh on it. I think it, like it didn't look that bad, like right from the trailer. I thought it looked good from the trailer. Yeah, yeah. from the trailer, I was like, I was like, okay, this is looking weird, but yeah. I didn't think it looked bad. Um, if it, it yeah. again, I was very surprised by how much I liked it. You loved it. What do you say? Split. <sighs> it didn't have any girls with flamethrowers. There was no uh, crazy gunfights. So I didn't. I wouldn't say I loved it. Okay. But it was, I really liked it. Could you relate? It didn't check all my boxes. What, multiple personalities? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But the glass trailer. The, the glass trailer. The, I think that it, he's leading up to something great, and I, I really, I really like the trailer. Yeah? Yeah. I think that, like, I, it's going to be, it's going to happen where they're just like, these are the three cases that she has found, and, you know, you get two of these people with negative, you know, sort of views on... Uh, life or what they want to do they're bad guys yeah they're yeah but like they're like that's the thing they're they're bad guys but like they're no not ones. they're not yet like they're just to me they're just two people with negative intentions misguided yeah uh, and so you get them together in a room and that's what's gonna it's gonna just explode the bad guys are teaming up yeah as he said to, to quote from the trailer yes yeah. but yeah i think that, that that's pretty much what it's gonna be like what you said i don't know how, the, how big the stakes are gonna go but I think that the trailer itself looks very intriguing. Yeah. Interesting. I thought Unbreakable was fine. I thought Split was fine. But Glass, I think, looks fine <laughs> as well. Which nice. is a step up for Sham, Sham Bam, Wham Lam, Well, Black Betty, Sham Lam. Uh, <laughs> I think. It looks like a step up. Possibly, dare I say, better than Split. Best of really? the trilogy. <laughs> I'm thinking... Shocking. Third one's the best. Who knew it? Four out of five. Shit. This is like the Return of the King? This is the Return of the King of mediocre trilogies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks it looks like it could be Oscars, fun. Oscars, here we come. I hope there's like some... I hope this is really a tease and they... You know, they're done shooting. I was going to say I hope they haven't shot... I hope they're not revealing like the true, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The true like level of the battle between David Dunn and the Beast. I hope they go like full comic book insane battle. Yeah, they they have to. I think I want like a crazy duel between them, mm. between the the unstoppable Beast and. The Do you think we'll see any other super? Superhuman, superpowered people. Yes, I yeah. never even thought about it. I can see someone else popping up. Yeah. Team up yeah. with David Dunn. They're not done with the trilogy. Maybe I don't mm. know. Maybe, they're they're not maybe it's one. not a trilogy. That's done. a twist right there. <laughs> done, done. All right. Well, I'm in. Mel Gibson we'll from Signs, maybe. Oh we'll, God. Full we'll yeah. crossover. No. Get him in there. Not like this. Joaquin from the Village. Oh. Let's move on from Glass. I think we're kind of. Those. 
I, we think it's okay. I don't yeah. know. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Looks fine. Let's move on. Uh, we got, we're moving over to a little DC property here. We got oh, yeah. Shazam. Oh, yeah. Starring Zachary Levy. Levi? Mm-hmm. Levy. Mm-hmm. Sharp. Um, as the titular Shazam. Mm. Although we do have Jimon Hansu as the... Oh, the ancient Shazam person. That's who it Excuse is. Excuse me? Yeah. I so didn't you know didn't, that? You didn't know that was him? <laughs> no, what? You didn't get that from the voice? His no. voice is very dis- Did we know distinct. that? Yeah. Well, oh, I didn't know that. Korath the Destroyer. Korath, eh? Yeah, AKA the ancient Shazam person. Am I whatever fucked his name for is. thinking it was Zachary Levi in like a old man costume? <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you well, dumb? He's black, so. You don't the, see him at all, though. You don't really. Yeah, see him. like the. Yeah. But the fact that I can hear Jimon Hansu's voice. Yeah, I knew. I'm like, why does his voice sound so <laughs> different? <laughs> wow. Shazam! Adam, let's start with you. What do you think of the Shazam trailer? Um. Well, I, I love that Jimon Hunsu was so Jimon Hunsu y. I knew instantly who he was. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. I don't know. Yeah, me too. I definitely didn't think it was Zachary Levi. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You idiot. Um, I think it looks cute. It looks really cute. Cute. It looks fun. Funny, dare I say. We got one of the kids from It. Yeah, I didn't realize that until the other day. The The wacky kid? I don't forget his name. Yeah, so it gets real Game of Thrones around here, man. Yeah, that kid. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I like the director said he went for big, but a superhero version. I like that different it's interesting like a kid turning into this giant superhero I, l- I like the freshness of it looks like it could definitely be cringe could be some serious cringe in there mm-hmm. but he does do the floss dance at one point yeah that was cringe as fuck um <laughs> it doesn't get any more cringe uh <laughs> that's for sure but that being said like if this 12 year old kid if he is a 12 year old kid he's gonna do the floss like that's what kids do oh I've seen kids doing it everywhere it's insane so have I I have young it, cousins it's a bit of a character my niece is incredibly good at it it's actually quite so, yeah, yeah my little it's cousin is insane. Yeah. um yeah I don't know it it looks like it could be good which most DC movies look like they are shit so Tim what, what are your thoughts step up. Shazam I think it looks good yes and I will say it's nice to see DC movies being shot on actual locations. Ah. Mm. Not just a giant CG world. It's not a giant CG world. Mm-hmm. They're walking out of a store and it feels like they're walking out of a store. <laughs> no, that store was There's CG. a Crazy. parking lot. Right. There's a warehouse. It was on probably location. built on a back lot, dude. <laughs> it feels like back a street, lot, though. Bro. In Toronto. Shot in Toronto. <laughs> was it shot in Toronto? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Shot but yeah, so. actually, like, actual, like, sets or physical locations. Nice. It's good feeling like DC. Yeah. Makes it feel grounded and real, you know? Yes, yeah. Yeah! Uh, Get into it. My yeah. man! You're on my man. Looks fun, though. That's later. I don't know a whole lot about the Shazam character. No? Because I see... Shazam. I'm aware of that. <laughs> that explains it. But Shazam. What more do you need? Come on, man. Because Shazam's just Billy Batson, right? There seems to be a very big, like, characterization difference between, like, the arrogant kind of like bully kid that we see Billy Bassin as not he's not bully but he's like very like sure like, like sure of himself and confident, confident. confident. A little shit. and then Shazam is just like a goofball mm-hmm. like that doesn't feel like the same person but I don't know if like I was gonna say that he's kind of a fish out of water maybe being in Shazam body he's kind of thrown him off a little bit but like honestly he might mature into being more of a sure of himself it really threw me off when he like did the dance Thing? Yes, that doesn't seem like something like, that Why would that do. kid be doing that? It doesn't yes. make any sense. Right. Like, yeah, he was a very like, serious cool kid. For school yeah. Kind of thing. It didn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to jump in. It's interesting. I'm not hyped for Shazam <laughs> at all. <laughs> I think it's going to be trash. Maybe not trash, <laughs> but I don't know if it's just it's just not directed to my demographic or something. I don't know. It seems like, like it's sh- aimed a little bit lower it's, than. It just looks super age. goofy. That's the thing. I'm not sure who it's made for. For kids. It's made for kids. Not. Is confusing. You're not a kid. Oh, you want? Is it confusing because you think you're a kid? But... Yeah. No, I, I don't know. I just there's some funny. Mo- I like I like the fish out of water thing and the the big aspect. Like it's a decent premise for a film, but at the same time, I just I don't know, I'm just not into it. I just wasn't feeling it. 
Um, I'm not far off from you. Yeah, Ty, what do you what do you think? Well, the the big thing that's confusing me right now is that I'm assuming this is part of the DC universe. Correct. Oh, better believe it, but Batman so, and Superman in the trailer. So to make they were well, the Batarang and Superman newspaper. Oh yeah, okay. Um, for me, like to see this, like it, like, it does seem like it, it is aimed towards a lower um, age. Uh, Demographic intelligence demographic. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it. That. I love it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm in. No, I was. Um, so, so, for them to be doing that and aiming it towards like kids, and then at the same time bringing it into a universe where it's dark as fuck, I don't fully get how they're going to do that and have it work well. Mm. So, that's mm. what I'm really. Because it seems like they've totally done like a 180, which I'm okay with. Yeah, but it's just gonna get serious in the third act, I guess. Yeah, like, oh, I guess oh, it's gonna go like murder. horribly dark. Yeah, exactly. Your like, boy uh, Mark Strong, though. Mark Strong was in this. Yeah, and he's like, he's "You must be guy. the villain," and he like punches him and he catches his fist. Fold Mark Strong. Did yeah. I see this trailer? The guy that looks like a super villain. Bad man, so I don't know. He has like a robot eye or something. You don't remember that? He was a bad guy. <gasps> no, I don't remember that at all. Maybe you were vaping. Yeah, it was vaping. That was it. So that happens. He punches uh, Mark Strong. Mark Strong like catches it. Which I think Mark Strong looks cringe. Yeah, just he looks, looks like cringe. over the top. Yeah. Like, oh, you must be the super villain. I don't know. It's like, just it's too on the nose. Like, yeah. Just looking at Mark Strong here in the but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it's, I, I. That's what's that's what's concerning me the most is how they're gonna tie this. And to me, it's just it's it's set up to be a train wreck. I don't know. I think train I think wreck. like. You can have different tones of movies, but it's then, savage, man. you know, if you have like the Justice League movies and there's all these other standalone movies, like it can work. Yeah, I don't think that uh, that's not a huge. I don't know. Just to, to me, like whenever I've seen like they do a DC movie, it just it doesn't work out well for them. So I'm just anticipating Correct. this. Right. Correct. I'm, like to You're me, right, like actually, I'm, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to say that it's going to be bad, but if I'm basing this on their track record. It's probably gonna be bad. they've set this up and like I'm assuming that's what they they're gonna try to do and it's not it's going movie. to work. Right. Yeah. They'll succeed. Yeah. Um, well, we can we can discuss that further when we talk about Aquaman. Mm. Uh, let's move on from Shazam. Uh, next we got Godzilla, mm. King of the Monsters. Okay, well, um, sequel. Yes. To was it Kong? Who was it? Oh yeah, I guess Kong. Yeah, but um, who directed the first Godzilla? Was it Gareth, Gareth Edwards? Edwards, correct. Uh, this time we got a pretty new cast. We got Millie Bobby Brown, entirely new. We got uh, Vera Farmiga. Yeah, Kyle Chandler. Yes, we also got um, I forget his name, but Ice Cube's son. Yep, Lannister. Um, Ice Cube Junior. We got Man Charles Lannister. Dance. Long live the king. He said, <laughs> "Shocking." <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start off with that. I, I think this is a great trailer. It like really, it kind of gave me shivers when like there was that like moment when like Mothra like opens the wings and gets like, score going. <gasps> um, yeah, I'm in. I thought this was a really well cut trailer. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Godzilla movie. Like, I didn't love it. Mm, it's not that great. Uh, very slow. That's I like the Godzilla sure. stuff. That's yes. definitely canon. Yeah, it's like, the same Godzilla, what? right? Yeah. Okay. 100%. Is it? 100%. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. He's lost weight since then. And the last King Kong is all part of this? Yes. Interesting. Vaguely. The, the, there'll probably be an end credits okay. thing where... Because it's leading into, like, Godzilla versus King Kong, obviously, yeah. right? Um, so I'm sure there'll be an end credits thing with King Kong or maybe he'll have a late third act appearance or something you never know but um, but yeah it's pretty cool to see all these different Godzilla rogues gallery you know characters you know Mothra Mm -hmm. Ghidorah Rodan you you kind of saw all of them to be honest Mm -hmm. but um, yeah it just looks epic just all the shots of like the monsters like like and there's there's like Washington DC's like destroyed or something. Yeah. Like, what? What's the multiple headed dragon's name? Uh, that's Ghidorah, I believe. Okay. I love that. King Ghidorah. Yeah. Um, Great shot at the end of that. Yes. 
yeah, I'm I'm fairly excited. And I I didn't love the first Godzilla. So, I don't think anyone did. I'm, I never heard anyone say that they. Did. I thought it was fine. I thought it was fine. Yeah. But I'm actually really looking forward to this one. What do you guys think? This reminds me of a video game okay. called Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> yes. I played it for I think GameCube. Where, where you just like landed in a city and you played as like Godzilla or you played as like Rodan or whoever you want to do and just like battle like just decimate cities as you're like destroy fighting way through. Yeah. The That's point of the game was just to destroy, just destroy as much as you could. Okay, super fun. Uh, I agree, Scott. I'm in on this. Not a huge fan of the first Godzilla either. Kong Skull Island was took itself almost enjoyable. Too seriously, the first it Godzilla. did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, um, it's this is wacky. Like this is the yeah. thing about it, yeah. Um, but I thought the creature designs all look great. Like when you're right, when Mothra like has a massive wings opening up and like the scores going, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh shit! Yeah, it was nuts. The and feels, got, like the feels. The Rodan feel, being yeah. chased by like jet planes. I'm like, oh my god! And then just get her at the end for Ghidorah. Get, like, get her, get her, get her, whatever. Just multiple head dragon. I'm like, holy fuck! Yeah. Do you think we'll see Mecha Godzilla oh, eventually? For sure. Yeah, at some point. Maybe not in this 100%. one, but oh, we're. I think it's going to yeah. go there. Yeah. Think so. Ty, what do you think? Um, this looks like if if this is if this is the trailer, it, this is the trailer. It doesn't look like the movie's going to be very long, just because it looks like they're going to destroy everything in the first twenty minutes. Like these monsters are massive creatures. Titans. What is? What are they going to do? I don't know. That's your question. That's my what question. Do? What are, like what I actually don't know what the like it seems like they're actually releasing these monsters. Like Yeah, it seems like Vera from Miga has this idea that I think she's like a little bit crazy. In order she to save the world, in order to, to like it. cleanse the world of like all the evils. We need to like give the world back to like its original rulers, the Titans. So we need to find them and wake them up. Yeah. So that just seems crazy to me. And then they're gonna battle. Yeah. Like who's the evil monsters? Like I don't understand. That's the thing. It just who's seems... the bad ones? Who's yeah. the good ones? Godzilla's yeah. good. He's Godzilla's usually... the good one. He's usually a hero. So all the other ones are the bad ones? When he's not he's crushing Japan, he's well, usually a good one. King Kong's a good guy too though. It's gonna be a Batman v Superman thing where they fight at the first Gotcha, gotcha. And, and then they fight all the other ones. Gotcha. Fuck. Mm. Well if it was like Batman vs Superman, what they do is they they'd have Kong versus him first, and then just like try to sprinkle in all the rest of the monsters. And then you find out Kong's words. mother's name is also Martha. <laughs> and then and Godzilla's like, what? And then they team up and destroy everyone else. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Great work, DC. I mean, yeah. um, I think this is more of a teaser because we don't know. We just see all we see all the monsters, and we don't necessarily know how they fit in. Yeah, I was like honestly, I was a little, I was a little overwhelmed by the amount of monsters that were wow. there. Just like four it, it was almost massive. Like, yeah, four giant. Arguably, too many monsters. Is that yes. What yeah, I, that's what I, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this trailer had too many monsters in it. Wow. It was overwhelming for me. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Adam, what yeah. do you think? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was very good. I like the cut with good. the with the score. Good. Was good. Very different. <laughs> Slow. Jesus. Oh, you almost made us stop recording there. We good? Really close. We on the air? We're we live? I don't believe you. We're live. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Um, we do it live. I'm hype. I'm hype. <laughs> I thought the first one was fine. Uh, obviously, the big complaint, not enough Godzilla. Like oh, we're getting some Godzilla this time, though. Yeah, they Good hurt. everything. That's why <laughs> I, you can't have too many monsters. Because the first one's like two hours and fifteen minutes, and fifteen minutes are Godzilla. The other two hours are Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, like people complain the first one that there wasn't yeah. any Godzilla. Mr. Piece of Wood. You can't complain this. now when it's like there's too many monsters. Like, what do you want, people? Like, I'm what do you want? I don't. What the? What do you, I, want? What do you want? I don't know what I want. I want. Who are you? Godzilla v monsters. Yeah. Just <laughs> as much as possible. At least three would be nice. Three action set pieces first one there's literally like one at the end there's like one in the middle and they just keep cutting away from it to the news broadcast of it oh yeah it's really so annoying. odd yeah yeah i didn't see really the first stupid one. First Godzilla. i thought you said you thought it was fine no king mm-hmm. kong i saw mm. kong's calling me. yeah i didn't see oh you didn't even see the first Godzilla. no everyone told me it was shit so i didn't bother watching it 
That makes sense as to why that, was that there's pre- too many monsters. Watch the first one. You will not okay. be worried about too much action. <laughs> was that pre-podcast? Yes. 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 Pre- Just wow. before pre-podcast. So you were super pleb. Wow. Yes. Full plebian. Yeah. Full plebian. Got it. Yeah. Uh, the director is the guy who did Krampus. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Little Odd and Trick or Treat. Whatever the fuck that is. Horror. Ooh. Horror. I like that. You like that movie? Trick, 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 trick or treat. We like trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick like just trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. So it's like an anthology uh, thing, not an anthology, but like it has stories. these different stories that intertwine at the end. Okay. Like Halloween stories. So kind of like camp campfire like horror stories, but like? it's good. So is he a good fit for Godzilla? Doesn't make any sense. King of the monsters makes no sense. Why do you get this like? Low budget horror guy to do massive blockbuster. I don't know what what That's Hollywood's the Marvel, idea is. The Marvel thing. Yeah, they're just like we it get works. someone who has you know made, he made a, a good movie. movie. He's got a matters. vision. Well, let, let, let's move on from Godzilla. I think we seemed all fairly excited, except yeah. surprisingly too monsters. Nice. There's too many monsters. It works too good. Uh, yeah, we're going back to DC. <laughs> this time we got Aquaman. Back to DC. Uh, permission to board. Yeah. You okay? Permission yeah. to come aboard. Uh, starring Jason Momoa, of course. Oh, man. As well as a plethora of other. So actors. many. <sighs> Amber Heard. Oh. Red hair. Patrick People. Wilson. Looking real. Mm. Somebody. Uh, Ty, let's mm. start with you. As the resident DC hater. <laughs> I wouldn't you... say hater. I'd say. Naysayer. Hater. Naysayer. Mm. DC You're sucks. quite the naysayer. Other what do you Wonder think Woman. of Aquaman? Ah, uh, my man, my man. I have to remind you that you love Wonder Woman. Yes. Yeah, you like it. I don't love most. a single DC movie, but you're the DC hater and you love one of their movies. That's, that's they made a good movie. I'll give it to them. Wow. Do you think Aquaman could fit into? I that? will always remind you not. that you love <laughs> Wonder you. Woman. It's <laughs> like ah oh, shit. I hate myself. Oh, God, I do. Um. I think it, this this could fit into the universe for sure. I don't. Mm. I'm concerned. Mm. I did like the beginning. I did like the beginning showing uh, kind of his start. You know, kind of how this the happened. There was a queen. Yeah. Her name was Martha. That stuff. Oh. Um, Her name was Nicole Kidman. I uh, I do think this this looks interesting, but I'm I'm nervous. It looks a little. I'm trying to find the right word for it. it it seems like it doesn't. It doesn't go deep enough. Like it seems like it's like <laughs> they're underwater, dude. <laughs> Ocean pun. Ah. Um, I don't know. I just you I want them to go to the Mariana's Trench. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just I don't like I don't understand Man. like his character necessarily like what his uh, motivations motivations are. You know, like is is, is he gotta fighting? Save the world. It's a slice Man. of life, dude. Oh fuck! I'm, I'm out. It's That's stop it. Maybe shit. Um, is he fighting his brother? Like yes. is his brother yes. evil? Yes. yes. Oh, have you seen Thor? There was exposition. Thor underwater. <laughs> There's even a robot that shoots lasers out of his eyes. You think that you, that mm. robot that shoots lasers is good? No, no. He's got to fight that. You see him jump out of the way. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It looks. It looks interesting. I definitely want to see another trailer though. I don't. I don't know. I want to see a different trailer. That's. Adam. Yeah. <gasps> Are you in? Does that mean you're in? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was astonished at how bad it looks. It looks plain to me. It looks bad to me. Train wreck. When they're under the water, I'm like, is this Phantom Menace? Like, full Phantom Menace <laughs> flashbacks. And just all week, I've at work, I've just been quoting every line in this trailer. Permission to come aboard. <laughs> And like the fucking like every it looks like redheads. Am I right? What does he say? Yeah, you that, got it. it? <laughs> Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Yeah, it looks bad. So do you think it's do you well, think it's him? Why? Why does it look? You're quoting him. Do you think it's him? One point there because I think he looks. I think he looks good in the role. I think it just looks like a joke to me, like in a bad way. Just not good. Okay. I can't even articulate. Like, that's thing is, I don't know what I it don't is. Think anyone, like, do you, you think it looks good? No, I, I think can't believe that anyone could think this looks good. No, I don't know what it is about it that I don't 
like. Like, I can't pinpoint it. Like him in front of it's the... It's when it says DC. <laughs> <laughs> it's that part. You know what? That's it. Don't care. Yeah. Like, oh. him in, in the aquarium. Like, hey, Arthur. Nerd. <laughs> he, like, push him, and he's just like... And the stupid the shark. cracks, shark, dude. Like, no. That very CG shark. And just so much CG. Dude, that I was, was real. <laughs> there was one shot I liked when he was holding that red blinking thing, whatever that is, and he like dives, and you just see like a thousand things chasing him. It was just a CG blur. I don't know what they were, but nah. crustaceans. Massive probably. school of fish or something going down. But that was cool. Yeah. The villain looks terrible. Patrick Wilson and his man bun look terrible. Patrick Wilson was in this. Yeah, yeah he's the brother. He's the Loki. Not oh, Stewart. it is okay. Yeah, yeah, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> um yeah looks terrible you're out i've never been more out. you're out e5000 tim what do you think underwater green lantern i'm 100 percent out <laughs> <laughs> thank, really? thank you looks trash thank you that's all i got looks that's looks all like you trash. got looks like scott wow i know i don't even know what to say terrible, t- like awful writing um i'm okay with the cgi because like it's an underwater world like you have to do it yeah but at least make it good. Kevin Costner would disagree. It's true. <laughs> um, Kidding, like, the CJ looks fine in some points, but, like, the aquarium part looks horrendous. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Yeah. Like, the fuck? I don't get movies. Like, you can, you can film that in front of a real aquarium and then just CGI in a single shark or something. I think you could almost That's probably get a, thing, sh- just... a real shark to hit the glass. You probably could get one to try hard it. enough. Yeah. yeah. Put a steak on the other end yeah. of the glass. Yeah, something. Just they don't need to stay. and then there's like the hugging scene on like clearly a green screen of the ocean and like a sunset. They're like hugging on like a on a fucking. Um... It's like Justice League, dude. All the all the scenes where it's like red and it's like the end yes. of the world, like it's like completely green. That's why I like Shazam because I'm like, oh, they're actually like filming on locations with Shazam, and then true, Aquaman comes down. Right, it's yeah. just like. Even when they have a chance to do like the real world, it's just still CGI. It's just I'm tired of Worst it. Pep talk ever. It's lazy. <laughs> Scotty, you're you're in. If you say you're in, you're I'll, in. I'll... Plus, if he if he ripped off the top of a sub and dropped in, the water would just come pouring in. And everyone would just die. Yeah, what was that? Unless he lifted no, out he, water first. It was out of oh, water. Oh, you see him lifting out of water first. Yeah, he forced it. Yeah. Okay. Stupid. Scott, say you're in. Scott's in. Looks great. I don't think it looks bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Parts of it look really bad. I'll agree, but overall, I think it could be fun. I mean, it's James Wan. For that reason, I believe it could be decent. But uh, DC and DC and <laughs> DC and um, entertainment. DC I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just the whole fantasy aspect of it. I find cool, like mm-hmm. the Atlanta stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There's always a bigger. Fan. I don't know. There was something about it that I was like, I'm, I'm kind of in. Just that cringe moment where the crowd gets like blown back and they look at each other and like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. that was me. That was cringe. Holy Super fuck. cringe. I think we did it better than them. Yeah. And like the seahorse army with like, I just all the seahorses. <laughs> yeah, that's sick, dude. That's like fantasy. And like the alligators. <laughs> I just can't. I, I like the like, Ready Player One time. battle at the end. It was, it was kind of like, <laughs> you got a little bit of that. But with like C characters instead of movie characters. Maybe because in Ready Player One there's like a massive scorpion at one point that's like fighting someone. Yeah. yeah and there's there like, is. yeah, there's I saw scorp- that movie. Scorpions. Oh no? God. Oh my god, dude. I didn't see it. What the see fuck's it. wrong with you? Um, I don't know. So you're in. I don't know. It you're could in. be a three. Just, just it say it. A three. Scott, just say you're in. A DC five? <laughs> Basically. It could be a two. Like, I'm like it could be a high. zero. There's lots of things like that don't look good. Like the the dialogue is cringe. Thank you. All the CG is a lot of cringe. And just that what do aquarium you like? scene is, is shit. <laughs> I, I don't know what's left. <laughs> the rest of it, it just seemed like Which is fun. What? I don't know. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is not a way. Take the mask off. It's <laughs> let's Abby. move on. <laughs> let's move on. Let's not dwell on the past. Yeah, let's not talk about that ever again. <laughs> um, we got Fantastic Beasts. The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, trailer 8? I don't know. Uh, Ty, what do you think of Clip the eight. latest trailer? What do I think? 
I'm be shocked by your answer. Fantastic Beasts. Super, oh, gonna be super tough. shocking. What yeah. do I think? Um, looks fantastic. I think. Um, beasts. Yeah. Uh, we actually get to see Grindelwald in this, which is uh, really cool. Um, you get to see him speak. Yeah, yeah. He's got a, like a crisp monologue right at the beginning of the trailer there. Mm. Um, I'm in. I, I'm really buying uh, Jude Law's Young Dumbledore. Mm. Great casting. Great casting. Fantastic. Like we've yes. got. See now, I'm gonna. This is a little side, a little sidetrack, but we've got Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law in Sherlock Holmes. We've got Jude Law and Johnny Depp. And Harry Potter. It's all your fantasy. All I need is Robert Downey Jr. and Johnny Depp <laughs> in a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And uh, then oof. it completes itself. No. Your life is That's complete. what I need. No. How close could we get to this? <laughs> um, but yeah, the trailer I think looks looks great. You're in. Yeah. Tim, what do you I could not be any more in than I am right I'm now. I'm in. The first one's good. I liked it. Um, I think Jude Law is great. Yeah. I haven't been. I didn't love Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as as a uh, Dumbledore. Oh, I love Gambon. They both really? were a little bit off. Really? Yeah, like they were good, but it's not like how I pictured him. Okay. Um, Michael Gambon was scary. Yeah, he, he was like scared me he a was lot. a mean old man. He was very mean. <laughs> this is like a very charming Dumbledore. He's yeah. like very confident, clearly mm -hmm. very smart, but at the same time has his own agenda that he's got going on. Um, Sexy. What something I, that he was very good at was having what I don't there. like is Johnny Depp. Oh now, my god! It's not necessarily his fault. Ouch. I think my biggest issue is his character design. I think How he so? looks like ridiculous. Both blonde hair. What do you mean? Like, like <laughs> he looks wacky. He's supposed to be also Spooky. like a very charming dude. That like when he turns evil, it's supposed to be like surprising. He clearly looks evil. So you're going out source material. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that I'm okay with. I don't really. I don't like, know that. He was like more suave. He's like, very suave. Yeah. Dumbledore has like feelings for him, which. But this he just seems like a maniac. Yeah, like he's clearly yeah. insane and looks insane. Well, like yeah. the two different color eyes. Like, I get that. That's <laughs> a real thing, hair, but like... it, it makes him look crazy. And his hair is crazy. I'm like, you're clearly so evil. Can I interject a theory? No, Adam. What do you think? <laughs> Your theory is that he's drinking Polyjuice potion and that he'll turn back into Colin Farrell. Because that would be the ideal situation. That's crazy. Retcon it back in the corner. But my theory is that it's a much younger, like, everything that you've seen, like, that's in the trailers, is happening post their oh, yeah, we'll post, relationship. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. This is after he's turned evil. So to me, yeah. So to me, that's my thing, is that he's he's already gone Oh, so maybe nuts. he's turned into looking this he's way? He's kind of evolved mm. into this. You're you talking will see about... some Pirates of the Caribbean, like, flashback. Where you see like young Johnny Depp, <laughs> that's good to all. We're gonna see that again. It yeah. just looks like him, but we it's are. Because <laughs> he's played by um, what's his face from All the Money in the World? The guy who gets kidnapped. Yeah. Um, Evan P. No, no, don't know Forgot what you're talking name. about. <laughs> he's not a big actor, but he played him in part one, part or yeah. two of Deadly Hallows. Just get that guy again, man. Or just like get someone that looks like him. Not like how does he? How oh, does, you mean, does that become Johnny Depp? I don't get it. Not Jamie Campbell Bauer. Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. No, no. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. Bauer. Okay. okay, that's not the kid from All no. Money in the World, but... It looks like that kid. It looks like yeah. it, yes. Okay, I see what you mean. But you're in. Yeah, I'm in. I think this it looks is... great. I love the world. Looks fantastic. Yeah, I'm 100% in. Yes. Adam, thoughts? I'm in. Looks yeah? Great. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking in. You guys have made my day. I was pleased. I love wizards. I was pleasantly pleased by the first and one. Witches. Yes. This one looks better. Yeah. I'll say it. Johnny? Looks fine. He look, oh, I'll take it. Up top. I do have a question. Oh. Yeah, I think his performance and stuff is fine. I'm cool with that. It's oh, just good. his look. I don't like his look. Oh, uh, did they de-age <laughs> Ready, uh, Eddie Raymane in that first scene? Oh, yeah. Or is they just got a kid no. that looks... They got a kid that looks... literally impersonating him sure? perfectly. Yeah. Because it looks a like... It didn't look like Eddie Raymane, but I could tell it was nude. Yeah, like yeah. perfect mannerisms. That kid should get yeah. an Oscar. It's, it's literally <laughs> like, I'm like, I can't, I can't tell if that's Eddie Raymane or not. I'm, my money's on Eddie Redman. Not Eddie Redman, 100%, 100%. I think I, the second time I saw the trailer, I, could saw, I saw his face a little bit more from the side. I'm like, no, it's not quite. No, I'm just kidding. But, but he nailed it. Mannerisms are like spot yeah. on. Mm -hmm. If it's not him, I'm going to be super surprised. And I liked that. I liked that line. Like, I prefer to do it off his job. Mm. That was cool. Yeah. Hilarious. Newt. 
Love him. Ridiculous. My favorite character. Because he's not scared of beasts, right? Like people, people have a monster that shows up. Not him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. There does seem like there's going to be lots of Doctor more Strange. Fantastic Beasts. Mm-hmm. For sure. More giant dot. Let's move on. That that concludes our Comic Con Comic Con trailers. Mm-hmm. Comic-Con. But we got one other trailer Comic-Con. of significance that came out. We got mid '90s from A24. Ooh. God bless him. Uh, this film is the directorial debut of Jonah Hill, Ooh. starring the kid from Killing of a Sacred Deer. Oh shit! And Lucas Hedges. Yes. Mm. Yes, that kid. Sunny something. Uh, I'm gonna start off. I think this movie looks great. A24 can do no wrong. Jonah Hill looks so like so this could be the Lady Bird of this year. I don't know. Wow. You know, it's great. you never know. Could be. Seems like a great year for indies. But yeah, I'm I'm in. Nice little slice of life, you know? Oh, I was so, hoping no one was going to say that. Aye. I'm in. But yeah, just the, just the directorial Shh. style of Jonah Hill. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm in. Yeah. It looks good. Thoughts? I think it looks really good. Not overly surprised. Jonah is very accomplished for... How he started out, yes. It's like considering stoner, like Funny fat guy comedy. Did he do right? Freaks yeah. and Geeks? He was in Freak. Uh, no, 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 no okay. Freaks and Geeks. No, no, that's that's um, Rogan. Seth Rogan yeah. and Franco and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it looks great. Great. As a child of the early nineties, mm-hmm. actually no, late nineties, I guess, because I was burned. I was burned. You were burned. You were burned. I was born in ninety, so like you were burned, and then put in mid nineties, I was five, so 90s. I wasn't out skateboarding and yeah. shit. But feels like the nineties. I will say, yeah. especially when they're, like, they're filming their own skate videos, We're and it's like, a very like fish eye camera. I'm like, I remember seeing like videos like early on oh. in, on the internet or yeah. like on and like MTV and shit. They were like film like that. It looks very nineties skateboard videos. Yeah, perfectly yeah. captured. I think. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pogs. I, there probably be pogs in here, right? Some crazy ones, maybe. Yeah, crazy yeah. ones. Yeah. Um, I, I I looks great. Um, it does look kind of slice of lifey. Get the fuck out. But not to the point where I'm not interested. It looks it looks it looks really good. It looks very good. Adam? Looks amazing. A twenty four can do no wrong. I agree. Mm-hmm. They have had some duds, but never gonna say Not that we would know. <laughs> uh it looks I, aesthetically, it looks like it was made in the nineties. I love what Jonah was doing with the aspect ratio. I hope that stays for the Oh the two four ratio? Yeah, it actually yeah. looks like it's shot like that, right? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Amazing. Like, you kind of got like the little glimmer of like it being recorded on film. Like, yeah, little, yeah. Yeah. And all the, all the nineties garb, mm. if you will, mm-hmm. just in the music, like the Wu-Tang tears. Mm. Oh, it was just, it spoke to me, it spoke to me. It looks like a better boyhood. Cause I didn't love Wait, boyhood. Wait, you were born? 92. Oh, okay. It, uh, yeah. Well, it looks boy, like... it is very, very different subject matter. Not very different. Sure, it's like a boy coming of age, coming, coming of age. Coming but age. yeah, what's actually going on is completely different. What do you mean? There could be some heroin in this movie. This is like skater kids. You know, like it seems like like one summer or something. But boyhood is like yeah, of course. <laughs> it's yeah. like, but it it I don't know. It spoke to me. I will say that. It looks yeah, amazing. Yeah. Some nice odd future cameos in there. It's set in L.A. Jonah. The Oscar buzz, maybe? Oh, potentially. I think, potentially. So. I Lady think it's Bird got potential. I think Oscar. so. Best original screenplay, maybe, or something like that. Mm. Or even director, perhaps. I think Jonah but... wrote it, too. Yes, yeah. very director by Jonah Hill. so in. Well, we'll have to wait and see for all these films, for all the trailers that we just saw. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Wait and see when they come Okay, around. we'll see what happens. But I think that'll do it for this episode episode 151 of the Up Real Late podcast. Tim, where can people find us? Uh, people can find us on Twitter at Up Real Late. You can find me personally on Letterboxd at Up Real Tim and on Instagram at DCraftPundant. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Up Real Late Podcast. You can also find me on Letterboxd at Up Real Tie. You can find me on Twitter at Franey25 and Instagram at Letterboxd at Up Real Adam. You can find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at Up Real Scott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And as always, keep it real.